Okay, that's the wigwam. It's a major resort in Litchfield Park. Uh, tonight, I've never actually been, I've seen the place from the outside, pretty good sized place. Uh, never actually been on the grounds. So, the, don't really know quite what, the, it's, it's reported to be very nice, it's a very expensive place when you pay the winter rates. And if you're curious, I'm sure you could, uh, you know, do a uh, you know, web search and get the, the, you know, their winter rates. They do, they are open to, you know, year round. They're open to summertime. Their summer rates are quite a bit lower. Uh, I'd say maybe a couple hundred bucks a night or something. You know, their summer rates, winter rates, I, you get probably way up there. Well, but you know, the nice place and it's a fancy place. Uh, I said, if you, I'm putting, I guess another, as a, as a place you want, if you want to visit the valley and want to spend the bucks, uh, there's, that's one of the places to go. We do have a number of uh, winter resorts throughout the valley. Now, there's, there's some other parts of the state too. I could, said a couple of the times there's Snowball and Sunrise up Northern Park, which are ski resorts. And people that, people that do ski go up there, so they're real nice. There's some other ones up in Colorado that are uh, like world famous ski resorts, which if you're into skiing, that's fine. I'm gonna, but if, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a 360 around this roof just to, I've done it a couple of times, but uh, I'm gonna put this one as one of the, you know, what can Europeans do? You know, where can they visit in the valley if, uh, if Putin cuts your gas off this winter time? You can get like a three or four month visa. I think you can do that. You'd have to talk to the, you know, whoever issues the visas and, um, you know, discuss that with them because that's not my area of expertise. Uh, anyway, there's Litchfield School. If you're a little kitty, if you're a kiddo, or just at an American school, you go, the, if you're here, I think it's like a K through eighth grade or something, and then uh, high school's uh, Millennium Alka just west of here. We go around the, Library, and I think it's some tennis courts over there, some apartments and houses and stuff all, all in through there. You know, for, you know, off, you'll, you'll be on this roof. Uh, Blitzfield Library is over there. Um, has, uh, I think, a town hall, and I think one of the police departments have a headquarters over in that building. They're about, uh, maybe about a quarter of a mile away. Uh, you go around here. There's a tree there, and a bunch of bunch of trees. Lots of lots of palm trees here. Lots of palm trees that have been here. They were old trees before I before I stomped around on this planet. There's more of this roof. I go around to get another view of this uh, wigwam here. Like I said, if you, I'm sure they've got a web, you know website that you can go to and uh, get all the information on the, on staying up there. And uh, I, when I tell them, I'm sure you'd have to make reservations uh, way in advance. So, are they? Of course, they got a lot of rooms there. I don't know. Maybe they. Uh, Maybe, maybe maybe you just walk right in there. I got no idea. Never tried. So I never had the bucks to stay there. Well, I got a perfectly good place to live uh, about five miles from here, so uh, no big deal. I said, there are other resorts throughout the valley if, if anybody's really interested. And uh, of course, there's Motel Sixes and places like that too. I mean, if you want a cheaper place, there's lots of them. And there's places, I'm sure there's places that you can rent by the month that are, you know, those web things that tell um, of uh, Airbnb and places like that. that uh, I think uh, this guy I'm doing work for has got, a, got, a, got about three restaurants here that uh, if you want to come in here and buy food from him, I'm sure he'd love to see you. Um, uh, if you don't speak English or Spanish, though, you, you, you might have a problem, but uh, speak one of those two languages, you'd be fine. Okay, bye-bye.